Hi, good morning. Namaste. Uh, welcome to Munta Surf Club. So my name is Shamit Kumar. So I'm one of the head coach and one of the co-founder for this club right here. So Mantra Surf Club is, uh, was established back in 2004 by Surfing Swami. So since then, this is where the whole surfing movement started in India. So surfing is, is born in Mulki. So it's called as a capital for surfing in India. Yeah, so this is our uh, building right here. So uh, we get travelers from different parts of the world. You know, it could be Europe, US and Australia, so even including India as well. So people come from different parts of the world to learn surfing here from the capital and the pioneers for surfing in India. At Mantra Surf to Muki, we offer many different water sports activities you know, such as surfing, sun paddling, kayaking, jet skiing and wakeboarding as well. So you can see so some this morning so we have some kayakers who are just performing kayaking right here. So we teach entry level beginners to intermediates and advanced as well, so in all sports. So Surfing Swami Foundation was formed uh, two years ago. So this is to uh, empower you know, our coastal villages in uh, ocean awareness programs and what are the water sports activities. So currently our foundation is working with few kids right now. So we have uh, likes of Tanvi, Anisha and we have about uh, 30 kids right here in uh, Mulki right here. So we plan to expand you know, throughout the coastal of Karnataka and throughout India. So empowering girls and boys to take up surfing which will help them uh, uh, which will help them with the equipment, training and travel expenses. So equipment that we use for all our uh, water sports activities which are one of the top qualities to the international level because Mantra, is, Mantra Surf Club is all about uh, safety and fun. So to make it safety and fun you have to make sure those boards are all really safe. So for learning we, have, uh, we use all these soft, soft boards. You can just come right here. You can just test them out. So they're pretty soft. They're like sponge. You know, so it makes it really safe for you to learn. Let's say if you fall off or something, so these don't hurt. So until once you get more experience on this, then we move to your traditional hardboard, so which is made out of uh, epoxy fiberglass. So that's for a little more advanced. For at the beginning, we always use this because they're just really fun, really easy to learn on, and it's super safe. So. So uh, here we, uh, we offer accommodation as well. So we have four rooms all facing uh, river uh, riverside. So we uh, we offer uh, two two meals a day. So which includes brunch and dinner with fruits and uh, access to clean drinking water. So it's, uh, as a complimentary uh, sport as well, we have kayaking and stand up paddling that goes with the rooms as well. So uh, this is a uh, Tanu Monkey Surf Gears. So this was uh, started right here, you know, uh, from Mantra Surf Club itself. So this was India's first clothing line uh, that we started here. So it's stitched, everything is made in India. So it's part of that making the project, that initiative that we have taken up as well. You know, so we try to source everything in India, the materials, stitching and everything. So this is one of the products, so which is fine uh, surf product that we use. So it's, these shorts, they are stretchy. You know, so then you got rash guards here, so we can be used for surfing. So when you fall off and stuff like that, so it stops you from getting rashes and stuff like that. So we got t-shirts, then we got surf hats. So when you're surfing, so this stays. So you have the velcro right here, it goes on your head. So it always stays with you even when you fall. So it protects you from sun, so. Cool, so uh, we are at Mantra Beach right here. So uh, this is a very remote beach. So it's uh, right on the peninsula of Hijmadi. And uh, so it's really hard to get to this place actually. So we don't have a road. So only way is to either you need to walk like three, four kilometers where the road stops or you need to take a boat in. So it's a very exclusive private beach, beautiful beach right here. So cool. let's go in. So 
we are uh, doing a beach practice right here so you can see them uh, they're uh, practicing how to lay down a board and how to paddle and how to stand up as well so you can see them so they've been doing it some of them have been doing it for almost uh, six months right now you know so there's some from a uh, local village right here in Muki from Mango as well so so every day when they're before they're surfing this is their drill that they have to do because what they're doing right now is paddling and standing up this is the foundation for surfing so this is what we make them do this every day before they get into the water so they do 10, 10 of these that probably roughly around five minutes then they go into the water and surf. So, uh, so one of the Surfing Swami uh, Foundation objectives is that uh, we bring in Ocean Awareness program as well. So it could be uh, beach cleanups, could be uh, you know just basic things of you know not throwing plastics into the water. Doesn't matter if it's rivers, ocean, everything. So every day as part of our daily drills for the uh, young kids as well. So whenever we do a session, we usually we make sure we carry a couple bags of trash back into the place as well. So and we organize a lot of uh, big beach clean programs as well. So we have one coming up in next month as well. So yeah, these are the avenues, initiatives that has been taken by the foundation to the local kids and hopefully expanding throughout the Karnataka state. Yeah, my name is Jeff Carr. I'm from uh, Northeast United States and I've been coming to Mantra Surf Club for maybe about 10 years now, on and off every few years I come. I'm retired. So I like to come to India and uh, spend time here. It's a great group of people. Uh, become friends with all the, uh, uh, the the guys that work here, and particularly the founder, uh, Surfing Swami. I uh, help support his foundation, Surfing Swami Foundation. All these kids you've seen out here today are being their local village kids, and they're being taught water sports, safety, environmental cleanup, all this kind of stuff. So I, I like to take part in that also. And uh, I do stand-up paddle. I, most of the time I'm on the river. And I uh, do stand-up paddling. I really like to do that. And I learned that here. And it's just a great place. A great place to come and a uh, great group of people. And they're, they're trying to make a difference here in, in, in India, both environmentally and in the sport. So I like to support that. And I do that back from the United States. You know, year-round, I, I help this place out. So I encourage everybody to do that, too. India needs a lot of help when it comes to the environment, right? Yeah, so, you know, let's, uh, let's expand that consciousness. Uh, India has been a rising country, right? Rising, rising uh, economic power, but it's way behind the curve in environmental, you know, consciousness. And uh, that's what I really like what Mantra's doing here. It's teaching the local children and uh, people to be more aware of the river and the ocean, help clean it up, act in such a way that it doesn't get worse. That's a, that's a big issue. Hi, uh, so we are here. So uh, there's a kayaking session going on right here. So uh, we teach kayaking right here as well. So uh, so we have a, a small island region called Narigudri Island. So we go around, so we, we go around there. So it's radius about four kilometers in, in uh, length. You know, so uh, we get a lot of beginners, you know, uh, who are just first time into this. So we give them lessons as well. So we can see some of them already in the water. So they'll be doing the trip around. So that's a basic, one that we uh, the entry level ones so once they get a little more comfortable once they get the techniques right what we do we have a much longer uh, expedition kind of a thing where they go upstream about 10 to 15 kilometers upstream of the Shambhai river so where they we, they, we do camping and we do uh, I mean, it's a beautiful place you, know, you just have a lot of actual nature into it you know it's a backwater so we have a lot of trees houses coastal houses and with great food as well so at our club, uh, we offer stand-up paddling as well. So currently, stand-up paddling is uh, one of the fastest growing water sports around the world. You know, so it can be done in the lakes, river, ocean, probably practically any body uh, bodies of water. You know, so it's a great uh, fitness as well. You know, it's because you have, you have a paddle, you'll be propelling yourself, you have a balancing. It's a full body workout, especially for your core, legs, arms, and everything. So it's been used uh, as an alternative for gym. You know, across the 
you know, across the world, you know, so a lot of, uh, especially a lot of in Europe, where they have a lot of lakes and stuff like that, so you, they use stand up paddling as a cardio f for fitness and workouts and stuff like that as well. So, and uh, here at uh, the Surf Club, so we have, we teach uh, stand up paddling as well, so we have a certified, international certified instructors uh, who conduct the lessons here, you know, it could be beginners, intermediate and expert level as well. So, and a lot of them do compete nationally and internationally represented in India uh, in stand up paddling from this club. So this is uh, some some of our team members right here. So that's Asif on the uh, left corner, and that's Gokul, and that's Ravi, you know, who takes care of all our digital and you know, everything. So Gokul and Asif has been. Uh, so Asif is uh, from Lakshadweep, so he's one of from those islands. So he's here for training, and Gokul is one of our local, so he's one of our instructors at the Mantra Surf Club as well. You know, so uh, the Mantra Club has played a huge role in development of surfing in India. You know, so it was the first surf club. And we have a lot of, uh, we annually we uh, hold the Indian Open of Surfing competition which is supported by the tourism department as well. So with the quality of instruction, you know, which is all to the international level, you know, and it's, it's, it's about time that, you know, we get a lot of uh, locals as well. Currently we get a lot of people from different parts of the world coming, coming here to learn surfing, you know, it could be from Australia, New Zealand, could be uh, Europe and a lot of American countries. So. They come here to India and especially Muki to learn surfing because that's a quality of instruction which is being provided right here. So uh, I don't see why uh, I mean, and that's and now we we see a lot of uh, people from Mumbai, from Delhi, and everything. So it's about time the people from Bangalore actually come here where it's right you know in the back door with a lot of these activities you know surfing, kayaking, sun paddling, jet skiing, wakeboarding, and just all in one place you know. So this is the time you know take the opportunity and come over here and enjoy with the family, friends, who it is. So, so uh, waiting to see you all soon and uh, thank you uh, aroundmangalore.com for uh, featuring this story. So uh, subscribe to uh, Around Mangalore channel on YouTube so to, uh, to see more stories of Mangalore and please do share and thank you.